our, just overall, I thought it was a very good win. Um, really what stands out to me right now is our defense. Our defense was unbelievable. They were outstanding. Uh, triple option scares you to death. They know how to coach it. They know how to run it. And just looking at the stat sheet, 0 for 15 on third down was really something. Our defense got a chance to play a lot of young guys, too, and just did a super job. Uh, all night long. Offensively, you know, the uh, sore spot was the three turnovers. I mean, that was really, you know, first half right there. That that was the thing that really stood out. But very pleased with our guys uh, in the run game and uh, the pass game. Made some plays in in all in both those areas. I felt like we were balanced and did a good job. And it was good for Jarrett to get a game under his belt too. And like I've said before, you know, it's been two years since he played. And it was good for him to get out there with his new teammates and all that. But very pleased uh, with our team. Uh, that's a team that's given some bigger teams some fits in the past. Uh, we were definitely concerned about it. And it was good to get off to a good start. We played a lot of freshmen. I think there's nine true freshmen that got a chance to play. You know, we talked about uh, you know all those young guys uh, getting out there and, and getting a chance to play. And it's going to do nothing but help us with our, with our depth moving forward. But... Uh, Good win, and uh, you know we'll enjoy this tonight and get ready for Clemson tomorrow. Questions? Guys, can we talk about how physical the defense was in the yeah. attack? Yeah, they were real physical, and, and you know playing the assignment football. You know you've got to take the dive, you got to take the quarterback, you got to take the pitch. And I thought we took all that, put them in some passing situations, made them uncomfortable. We had some big time sacks, and just to really harass that quarterback all night. I mean, I think our guys were flying around. They did a very good job up front. Um, like I said, 0 for 15. I don't know. I don't know if I've, I've seen that. I mean, that was real impressive. And you know, before we took our ones out, there wasn't a whole lot of yards. There's not a whole lot of yards. Period. But uh, just it was a very, very uh, good defensive effort. Just one schematic. Question for you. First question would be: uh, Obviously, you saw Carryon Johnson go down. If you have no doubt of injury. Second part of that question is with Kim Martin. Just how happy were you with his performance? Uh, yeah. What he's able to do stepping into Carryon? Well, we talked about you know we do have some depth at tailback. I think you got a chance to see just about everybody tonight. And Cam Martin stepped up in that situation. Obviously, Carryon Johnson's a, a big time player, and that was a tough blow. You know, we'll we'll, we'll check his status. You know about where he's at. But Cam Martin came in and did a very good job. And uh, you know, I was pleased that the other running backs got some work too, and uh, it was good to, good to see that. When, when Kevin had said schematically how much of a challenge this was, just because of how you had just a little tape to go off of, yeah. redshirt freshman quarterback, so many different styles of the triple <coughs> option that they ran to hold. This is one of the best performance of all time, yards yeah. allowed. What does that say about yeah. the preparation that came in? Well, it says a lot about uh, Kevin Steele, our defensive staff, uh, and our defensive players. Um, you know, I think they got a chance to be an outstanding defense. We talked about that in pregame, um, and they answered the bell because there was a lot of stress that, that went into that because there's so many ways that they can present the triple option to you. And, um, you know, they, they know how to coach it. They know how to teach it. And, uh, you know, there was, there was some stress involved in that, but our guys came out and executed the plan. And uh, Kevin Steele and our defensive staff just did a super job. How would you evaluate Jared Stidham tonight? You know, I thought he did a good job at times. I mean, you know, um, you know there was one, that turnover, you know, uh, it was supposed to be picked up, and it was a miscommunication, and um, that was a tough one. But I thought it was good for him to get out there and experience game action, all that. But I thought he managed the game well. Um, you know, and, and he dealt with a little pressure at times, but it was really good for us as coaches too. Um, you know, to see him out there, and but I thought he did a very solid job. Was your offense sort of vanilla tonight? Did you do that on purpose? Uh, you, you know, I, you know, it's we scored 41 points, so I don't know. Did in Jarrett's, you know, first start, and obviously you said, you know, there's some things to work on. Do you think he was rusty from the standpoint? Maybe sometimes just hold on the ball a little bit too long. Maybe not seeing some open Yeah, you know, we we'll have to look at the film and all that. Uh, I know early on, I think we we had a had a deep one uh, that we dropped, and that was a big one, uh, you know, at that point in the game. But but it was good for him to be out there, and uh, and he's going to be an outstanding quarterback. I'll tell you that right now. And like I said, he's played four college games, and that was two years ago. So uh, I was pleased with the way that that he handled the offense. Uh, and he'll get nothing but better. You had a lot of success the crossing around with Ryan Davis while well, icing those two smaller guys. Yeah. Didn't see a lot of that last season. What did you think of that? Yeah, yeah that forward? was good stuff. You know, like I said, Chips got uh, a lot of new wrinkles and all that, and the crossing routes were, were part of that. And uh, I, mean, I think Chip did a solid job, too, with him and his staff. You think Will showed a lot tonight? You know, everybody's always down. Can this guy be uh, you know, 
on every down receiver. He certainly looked the part tonight. Yeah, yeah. Will Hastings. I mean, we've said it. I mean, he's he's in the mix. He's one of our guys, and you know, Jarrett's got a comfort with him, and I mean, he did a good job on some third downs. You know, of course, the last one uh, to the corner of the end zone was a big time throw. I mean, it was about the you know, only place it could have been. So, uh, you know, I thought it was good. This is probably the most substantive action that Jeff Holland has had. And he was extremely disruptive. What, what was your assessment of his performance? Yeah, I thought he did a super job. You know, he's been a guy that's coming on, and uh, he's really taken ownership in that position. Uh, he had a very good spring. He's had a very good fall camp, and you can tell he's just playing at a different level right now. And uh, and that was good to see. Talk about Trey Williams. It looked like he had the yeah. best game Ooh. I've seen. Uh, you know, Trey Williams is a guy that you know our coaches were talking the other day about. He's raised his level, and. Uh, you know, he was he was fierce out there. You know, there was a lot of the big hits, and he was the one getting up off the pile of that. And you know, uh, the seniors. You know, when you got a chance to have a good team, they find ways to raise their level. And he's one of our team leaders, and couldn't be happier. You know, for him. And yes. did Marlon Davidson surprise you? Because Kevin even said this week, I don't know what I'm going to get from a conditioning from a standpoint from yeah. him being out this long. Well, Marlon is uh, he's mature beyond his years. Um, He's a young guy that plays like an old guy. Um, he's a great competitor. And he's got great technique, and he's tough. He's really tough. So, you know, real pleased with him. When did, when did the team find out those guys were suspended? And just in terms of the game, how did they react? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that, that's between that's between me and my team. I mean, in terms of the game, that creates a little adversity today. No, they're, 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 together, our team was fine. Gus, were you tempted to use Malik Willis there uh, in the fourth What's quarter? What's that? Malik Wells instead of Devin when you talking about Yeah, no, no, we, we uh if we if we had to, to play him we would and he was prepared, but uh, you know, we wanted to put Devin in there to clean the game up. Coach, you've talked about Devin O'Call so many times how he's the best field goal kicker in the yeah. country. What were you able to say to him after his two missed field goals for him to be able to come back and still yeah. mentally physically? I didn't say team? anything to him. I mean he is the best kicker and you're not gonna make every one and uh, he'll have a great season so I didn't say anything to him.